adding transitions to your presentation. Transition are some of the things that help your presentation to look more stunning and attractive to your viewers or audience. And so when you have opened your presentation, it's already at home. So you need to select the slide that you want to put the transition on. So if I want to put the transition from the first one, you just click on it, then you come to transitions and you choose the different kind of transitions you want to do. So you can just click on this drop down menu here and it will bring a lot of different transitions. Now they are break into three different parts. The subtle, the existing, exciting rather, and then we have the dynamic content. Now we will exploit the difference of them. If you want to be using the subtle you see how it's gonna appear push up wipe so you try to see which one will best suit your slight transition so transition moves one slide into the next slide and so we can choose this one we come to the next one and that's how you have to do for all the slides so we can use the push up now when you come to the exciting it gives you a very nice display and so you will you will choose the one that best suit your presentation but note when you are doing a professional presentation you are advised not to use a lot of transition which will distract your audience or the message you are coming to pass on so you just choose um, transitions that are not so much noisy and so i like going with the subtle and those that's those ones here and that i can use the push up or the split and once again the latter part of the transition which is the dynamic content this only affect the content in your slide but not the whole slide when we are comparing with the exciting or the subtle it's happens to the whole slide but when we are talking about the dynamic content it only works within you see that the things inside your slide so if I click on this one then you choose it and you see how it's gonna be so it affects only the content in your slide and I said earlier on you are advised to use the subtle for your pro professional presentation that is which will not um, distract the audience so we term it as noise because it's not needed now you can always come to change your presentation or the slide you want so if I want to change this one I'll come and click on it and it's already reveal what I'm using so I'm using reveal if you want to remove the transition just click on none it's going away the second slide you can also click on the star here to display the preview of what you have done so when you click on it it will preview for you to see what you have already um effect on it now one thing you also notice that you can now change this effect from the effect option whether you want it to flip from right from bottom from left or from the top this is from left from the top or from the bottom so you have to play with this and then you get more conversant with it in addition to this you can also preview the whole slide and see how it's going to be which is the same as when you click on the star button here now you can play to see what has happened now this transition that we have used here is the dynamic content so it only affects the element 
or the content inside your slide so you can just press escape to go back to your slide view so you, your transition can also come with sound so if i pick the seat one here i want to put a transition so let's say i pick this one here um or this yes this look nice for me so you can add a sound to it put a plus and then you press it. you can see that they are giving a plus when you are doing the transition and then i can change it to camera so in the preview yes so you can put this sound on the different transition that you are doing and you can put your time duration that is if you want to play the slide um, without being clicking through so this means that every six minutes the slide will automatically roll to the next um, slide now after i put camera here if i put apply to all then it's going to apply to all the slide any slide i make the transition from it's going to put the clap sound on it so the second one i can do the same no sound but i can put a different sound as well and let's see let me put this okay so you play it okay so this is how you put transitions onto your presentation once again try to choose a, a presentation um, transition that will not distract your audience make it more professional by using the subtitles and the top ones right don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you finish subscribing just put in the comment section below that you have done the subscription so that i can give you a thumbs up in the next video thank you for watching